Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today I was going to circle back to that first video I posted um, on this YouTube channel and talk a little bit about these Atlas bipods. Um, I run them on, on pretty much all of my guns. I believe I've got three of them currently. I've got a Harris bipod as well um, and it's a it's on an Arca um, attachment and so I really like that. This is a, this is a good one to, to purchase without a doubt. But I wanted to circle back to that video I had posted um, several months ago and just kind of elaborate a little bit more about that. I was talking about the V8 Atlas bipod along with the PSR um, Atlas bipod and I was mentioning that there was these this rotation of legs um, in this channel that was cut in the internal slide so that it wouldn't rotate. So there you go, you can kind of see it there. And so I wanted to bring this back up and show you the V8 model, which is the kind of basic um, one you can you can purchase. And so just real quick, what I meant by the rotation is this right here. See how that knob spins, right? Just like that, which is fine, but you know, it just feels a little bit more flimsy um, and doesn't feel near as robust as something like this where it's it's really just locked in place you know that is just a a sound um, piece of piece of equipment right there a piece of machine the psr model that i've got here it is the um, bt46 lw17 psr and so it comes with the um, american manufacturing or american defense adm um, clip or QD attachment for Picatinny rail. And then this one here is actually the Atlas V8 BT10-NC. And so that stands for no clamp. And so what that allows you to do is save a little dollars, save a few bucks by not having to buy this ADM mount with it. Um, and then if you wanna get you an ARCA attachment such as this one, this one came from area 419 um, and it just it just screws in there to the base of the, to the bipod there but nifty design I like them both uh, the other atlas I've got up there it's also a v8 and um, without the clamp it is threaded to a spigot on that AICS chassis over here um, and so that that works out well too so if you're going to direct mount it you know that's fine go with the, the no clamp but the moral of the story is I just want to bring this up this one is the PSR, this one is the V8. The main difference is the rotation of legs. And if you don't mind that, you know, then so be it. But that's kind of the main difference. The other main difference um, is going to be amongst the BT-10 versus the BT-46 is what they're made out of. So the BT-46 is actually made out of the 7075 T6 aluminum, aluminum whereas the V8 is made out of uh, 6061 T6 aluminum. So you got a little bit more durable aluminum, I think is how that goes. And it's gonna just allow you to have a little bit more stability um, and overall strength and longevity of the of the bipod. But cannot say enough good things about this thing. I absolutely love it. I have been totally impressed with it um, since the day I got it. And like I said, just when I was in the store feeling them around, I held this one and it felt just, you know, clanky and rink-a-dink and, and flimsy. And then I picked this one up and I said sold. I bought that thing just as quick as I could get out of the store. So that's kind of a comparison. Once again, this is this is a Harris bipod. Um, it's What's nice about these, I will say, is the uh, spring-loaded, you know, you can get those legs out a lot quicker. And um, so, you know, if you're in a PSR match or something, you can pull those out a lot quicker. But this is just a simple grab and pull. Um, so you can you can get it to where you want pretty dadgum fast as well. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to make that quick little video, kind of comparing and contrast, contrasting the V8 versus the PSR or the the BT46 versus the uh, BT10. So that is all I've got for you. Like I said, if you're shooting long range or into that kind of stuff, these are great attachments. Really do like them. Um, but can't go wrong with a Harris. You know, these things have been tried and true and proven in a lot of different circumstances. So definitely can't go wrong with, with, with any of the three. So whatever you want to pick, so be it. But thought I'd just jump on and kind of give you all that little bit of uh, comparison. So anyways, guys, till the next one, we will see you later. Thanks.